vinyasa sequence. Stretch your arms out in front of you, lengthen and find child. From child's round up, tuck the toes under and take it back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Lengthen, wiggle, lean it right, lean it left. Breathe. As you feel ready, on an inhale, let your right leg lift high. Come high up onto the ball of that left foot to let it lengthen a little bit more. And play with using the tailbone to help get a little bit more lift. And as you exhale, slowly curl and place that foot in between the hands. Nuzzle the right thumb into that right hip crease and start to pull the right hip back as you spiral your heart open. As you begin to release the left arm up towards the sky in towards twisting lunge, you might start to find that it feels good to roll onto the outer right edge of that right foot, letting a little bit more opportunity happen through that right hip. Let it release as the right hand comes to the earth, left knee comes to the floor. Crescent moon pose. Feel the heart lift. Circle the arms behind and up. Stretch up through one arm. Stretch up through the other. Maybe even bend that right elbow, holding onto that right elbow with the left hand. And then do the same on the other side, leaning. Nice. Releasing the hands back down by that right foot. Drawing that right leg back towards straight. Pyramid variation. Wiggling the spine long, lengthening. And then eventually fold down over that right leg. Some of you might feel like you want to walk the hands forward and breathe. You can flex that front foot a little bit to dig the stretch into the calf. And when you feel ready, let an inhale draw you forward. Exhale, bending the right knee and step it back to downward facing dog. Wiggle. Lengthen. Let an inhale bring you forward into plank pose. Pause. Kind of take, take one shoulder, stretch it back. Take the other shoulder, tuck it back and down. Maybe even do the same with the legs. And then eventually, slowly, slowly, let yourself lower all the way to the earth. Release the tops of the feet to the floor as you stretch out through the arms, lengthening, moving towards Sphinx Pose. Slide back up onto the forearms and pause. Now kind of dial in here a little bit, rooting through the index knuckle. Feel your inner wrist root. Feel the shoulders pull back and down and get a sense of being able to traction your heart forward as you reach your tailbone towards the heels. Nice. Beautiful. So lower, slowly lower. Let the hands come underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under and get round. Rocket cat. Curl that tailbone under. Countering that sphinx pose. Wiggle. Shoulders come back over the wrists, taking it back into downward facing dog in preparation for the second side. As you feel ready on an inhale, let that left leg lift. And feel, come high up onto the ball of the right foot. Let that left leg really extend up. And then from there, as you're ready, let the tailbone curl under to slowly step that left foot between the hands. Nice. 
Nuzzle that left thumb into the left hip crease. Kind of pull that left hip back as you spiral your heart open. And as it feels right and you feel ready, release that left arm up towards the sky. Now you can keep it tidy, staying on the sole of that left foot. But lately, I really like to roll onto the outer left edge and roll into the inner right edge and kind of find a slightly different stretch through the hips. Unraveling, hands down around that left foot, dropping the right knee. Crescent pose, peeling the heart open, circling the arms back. And eventually let the arms reach over the top of your head, lengthening. Lean it to one side. Lean it to the other. Climb up out of the waist. Add the shoulder stretch as you'd like. Breathing. And eventually the arms reach back up to the sky and let an exhale bring the hands down to the earth. Tuck the back toes under and draw the legs back towards straight forward pyramid. Now, kind of wiggle it here. It can feel nice to kind of press into the ball of that back toe and kind of spin that inner thigh back. Walking your hands forward can feel good. As you begin to fold over that front leg, sometimes it also feels good to flex the foot. Digging into the calf. Beautiful. Breathing. Eventually let an inhale draw the heart forward. Let the exhale bend the knee and take you back downward facing dog. Lengthening. Wiggling. Finding your way towards plank pose. Pause. And now from plank, vasistasana. Tuck the left shoulder under. And with the left shoulder tucking under, begin to peel the heart open. Root through the sole of that left foot. And spiral the belly and the heart up as you reach through that right arm. Lengthening. Breathing. Beautiful. Gently let that hand come back to the earth. Pausing in plank pose, wobble. Other side, tuck the right shoulder under. Bring your attention to that right hand, that right sole of the foot. Begin to root down as you lengthen up. Feel how you can use your hips, use your legs, breathing. And then eventually let that left hand come back to the earth, pausing in plank pose. And then as you feel ready, slow, slow, let it lower all the way to the earth. Let your arms come down along your sides in preparation for locus. Feel the legs lift. Feel the heart lift. Wobble it a little bit from side to side. This will help use more muscles. Okay, as well as increase your endurance. Beautiful. One more big inhale. And exhale slowly lower and let it land. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under and get round. Rocket cat. Wiggle. And then find Balasana again. Hips back to the heels. Arms out in front of you. Noticing. Breathing. Feeling. <laughs>